So Manchester United there, beating West Ham 2-1 at Old Trafford. Let's be honest, that was a far from a vintage game. But for me, today was a bit like the first year of university for Manchester United. You just need to get 40%. You just need to pass. You don't have to do it with flying colours. You don't have to be incredible, fluid football the entire game. And we were far from fluid in a much changed team, but a team which still contained Pogba, Lukaku, Lingard, Martial, Small and De Gea. Plenty of first team players in there, but it was far from a first team complete performance. Ultimately, it was a jarring performance, not a team performance whatsoever. And it was two penalty kicks from Paul Pogba, neither with a terrible stuttery run-up, I might add, that won the game for United. 2-1, and we're still in the top four chase now. Because I felt that if we dropped points today, and then we went to Barcelona in the midweek and we got knocked out, if that happens, fingers crossed it doesn't, United's season could have been over. But today against West Ham... It wasn't really professional. It, it was scrappy. It was tardy. But it was a win. And it was three points. And it was two penalties, as I said, from Pogba. A player who, from me personally, got criticism for his performance against Barcelona. A game where I felt that Pogba really should have controlled it. The sort of games where you expect your £90 million players to step up. Got outshined by McTominay and Fred. But today, McTominay rightly rested on the bench. Because we need him to pocket Lionel Messi on Tuesday night in the new Camp. But it was Fred and Paul Pogba in midfield. It looked like we had Lingard, Martial and Mata with Lukaku. All a bit fluid and changing. United were never really that good in possession. In fact, I'd argue United were awful in possession. This United team in possession, you don't really have that player like Scholes who can control the tempo of the game easily. Sort of give him the ball and just you know that he'll bring possession through the team. We don't have that at the moment. It's what you expect Pogba to be, but sometimes he is and sometimes he isn't. But I think United's biggest problem today and the problem and concern that we should be taking into the Barcelona game is left back. Because we have Marcus Rojo today who somehow made me miss Ashley Young at points. Marcus Rojo should be following Antonio Valencia out of the door this summer. Thanks for what you've done at the club, but you're not good enough to play for United anymore. Now, Diogo Delot, I'd argue he should be starting right back probably every week for United now. But at left back, it's a problem against Barcelona, isn't it? Least not if they play Lionel Messi at right wing to try and expose that space even more. But Marcus Rojo, Phil Jones, I don't know, man. This United defence, the idea of it scares me against Barcelona. Lindelof's going to come back in, but Luke Shaw's suspended. Ashley Young suspending, as bad as he's been, who steps in? That's Diogo Dalot. But who comes in at left back? Maybe that's Diogo Dalot. And we play someone else at right back. I don't know. But for me, that's the biggest problem going into this Barcelona game. McTominay was taken out of the midfield today and it lost momentum because he is the most informed player at Manchester United at the moment. And he deserved a rest. So he's 100% fresh for that game against Barcelona. But today against West Ham was not a game where United needed to be incredible and to send a message to Barcelona. It was just a game where we needed to pass the test and get the three points and stay inside that race for the top four. And we did that. You know, Spurs might be pumping Huddersfield 4-0 at home. They may have rested some players. But for me, Spurs has got a much stronger squad than United does. And I've said that for some time. Our starting eleven is good, but past it, when you take players in and out, Momentum changes and shifts quite easily in this Manchester United team. And Solskjaer will ultimately be pleased because we got three points today. With the performance, not so much because it took two penalties to break West Ham down. Thought Martial looked pretty off colour. Lingard, post-injury, is a completely different Lingard to pre-injury. That's a real shame. He's lost his momentum and he hasn't got that back. Marcus Rashford, for me, is clearly still not 100% fit and 100% well. Lukaku, I thought, played pretty damn well until he got taken off. Some of his first touches, his touches in behind, were quite good. And I actually prefer Lukaku out on the right wing. I've said that quite a few times as well. Man of the match obviously goes to Paul Popper because he buried those two penalties. They were pressure penalties. United didn't have that many clear-cut chances. We needed somebody like Popper to step up when he got the chance. And he did it with a plomb, especially that second penalty. But United going into Barcelona, that's not going to give us any momentum. It's not going to take any away because we won and we got three points. But 
Today, as I said at the very start of the video, was not a game where I wanted and expected to see United blow West Ham apart. We were going to make changes, and we made changes. Not that many, not certainly not in comparison to Barcelona, who seemingly rested their whole outfield 11, outfield 11, sorry, but we got three points. Popper scored two penalties, no injuries, no other concerns, fully focused on Barcelona. And I think United were half focused on Barcelona today. That really came across in the football. But we beat West Ham. We pushed them to the side and we beat West Ham. And that's the most important thing. We're still in the top four race. All eyes on Tuesday night now. What's your reaction to the game in the comments? Let me know, as always, if you are new to United People's TV. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. But on Tuesday morning, I fly out to Barcelona. I can't wait for that game. Today was just a build-up to what happens on Tuesday night. If we can come out of that with a 2-1 win, we go through to the semi-final.